This tip comes from our Catman Masters series course on developing shopper-focused category management scorecards. Category scorecard is step 5 in the category management process, and category strategy is step 6. These are two commonly missed steps, and we tend to jump from the category assessment and opportunity identification to the tactics and finalizing a category plan, and then jumping into implementation. If you do this, the entire plan can fail. You need to take some time in this important and strategic step. The problem is that isn't going to give the desired results. So here's where we do opportunity identification through the assessment. And steps category scorecard and strategy are the steps that bridge the gap between opportunity identification and implementation. So let's review what I mean by scorecard and strategy. A balanced scorecard monitors the progress towards accomplishing the strategic objectives in the strategy map. A scorecard displays periodic snapshots with KPIs. It measures organizational activity at a summary level against predefined targets to see if performance is within acceptable ranges. The metrics should be derived from the opportunities identified in the category assessment, rather than just a list of important measures that the executives have requested to be reported. I can't reiterate the importance of having a well-balanced scorecard enough. Like I mentioned before, it bridges the gap between the opportunities identified and the strategy and execution of the plan. Here's an example of what a very basic scorecard looks like. There are typically volumetrics in it, or financial targets required for the category. And then there are shopper-focused metrics, hand-chosen by the category team, and these need to focus on the metrics that are going to help them to achieve their overall financial targets. So they are the ones that, based on opportunities identified in the assessment, will help them achieve shopper success. We'll be going through a more detailed example of this in a while. The category scorecard needs to be reviewed in a bit more detail so you can get a true sense for its purpose. At its highest level, think of it as a strategic planning document that links activities to the category strategies. It monitors progress to ensure that you're going to accomplish the strategic objectives in the category plan. It measures category activity versus predefined targets to check that you're going to achieve your financial objectives, and it creates alignment between the retailers and vendors to the category plan. Want to learn more about category scorecards and strategies? You may want to purchase our Catman Masters course or full program series to help you advance your understanding. Here are the learning objectives for the course. Happy learning!